I was interested in what was going on in the Arts Centre. I got to know Robert Cruden very well, who was instrumental, I, I think, chair at the time that the expansion of the new building occurred. And I, I became familiar with his work in photography, and he's been something of a mentor for me. And after my retirement from full-time work in 2017, I was interested in, in doing more with photography, learning more. And Robert encouraged me to participate in a photo critique class. And I learned to, to, to view my photography and, and the art of photography in, in a much more disciplined way. So that, that was the start of my, my personal connection. One of the things I'd always enjoyed about our partnership in the schools with the White Bear Center for the Arts was that children begin to see themselves as artists. And I, I enjoyed that. So when I had a little bit more time, that and with Robert's encouragement in 2019 I entered a photo in the uh, Northern Lights competition the jury program and to my great surprise and delight one of my photos was selected in the juried show I, and then I, I went to the uh, <clears throat> went to the program that night and it was a there was a name tag that said Michael Lovett artist on it so I thought my time had come um, since then I've I've really enjoyed learning about photography. I've also enjoyed the assignments that uh, I've been given. Uh, this is the photograph that is part of the member show right now. It's from County Leitrim in, in Ireland. And it's just an example of the work, but I learned through the critique class how to edit it a little bit and, and just what to be looking at when, when I'm taking a photograph. What I enjoy most is, is paying attention to what's around me. And, and the, the camera gives me an opportunity to stop and reflect and observe. Since I first met uh, Susie Hudson and Frank Zeller in the summer of 2008, I've been impressed by how consistent the message has been around creating opportunity for everyone, uh, from children, young children, through through older adults. I've been impressed particularly the last few months when, uh, <clears throat> when the world is shut down as we know it. One of the activities that the Center for the Arts did this summer was to have an activity for children in place of the sandcastle. And we, were, we traveled to Denver in a day, following all the regulations to be with our little granddaughters. And my six-year-old granddaughter created a creature that she entered into the into the contest. And it was very motivating for her. I use that as an example because I think what the Center for the Arts does is creates a community that's always expanding and always trying to include more people. Few people see themselves as artists, but the White Bear Center for the Arts is so inviting that you can go and try it out. Whether it's photography, uh, clay, watercolors, there are many different ways just to be present.